Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> Man, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day vegan edition. You guys asked for it, so I'm going to give it to you authentically. Customized and everything from the start of my day to the end of my day. Let's see if you guys can keep up. Because I've got a long day ahead of me, man. So let's get it. The first thing I put in my body today was some nettle tea and I poured some spring water inside of it and diced up some fresh ginger. I talked about nettle tea previously, it has so many health benefits. So I let this steep for a little while and then I went to my room to get ready and also meditate because I never leave the crib without meditating. I love to start off my mornings with giving gratitude and positive affirmations. I always tell myself I can do things. Blessed to see another day, blessed to breathe in. The aroma of fresh nettle tea and ginger. So I've been doing this thing lately where I actually fast for about 16 to 17 hours a day. Um, I'm doing it because I want to keep my body fat low while I'm injured. Some of you may know I have a partial ACL tear, so I can't train for basketball like I've been. So that's the way I'm able to keep my body fat below 10% and still enjoy my life. <laughs> Today's one of those days where it's gonna be extremely busy for me. I'm, I'm gonna be running around a lot. I have a lot of errands. Have you finished those errands? Have you finished those errands? Have you finished those errands? Just to kind of run you guys through my day a little bit. I'm going to PT right now and then I have my actual workout after that. And after that, I have to stop by my tailor to get a shirt because nothing fits you when you're 6'5", 220. And I got a wedding this weekend. So after that, I got a massage with my sports therapist, Steve. And then after that, I have to go pick up a package from this company that was so gracious to sponsor me and send me spandex. And after that, do you know what I'm doing? You're right. I'll be editing this video for hours. So. It's one of those days where I definitely have to be structured and as a plant-based athlete, you can definitely forget to eat. There's a lot of skinny vegans out there. I'm not gonna be one of them. Nope, not I. I am not gonna be a skinny vegan, so I gotta remember to eat. Time to get this quick work in. All right, so I just got done with PT. I got done with working out and it is 10.23 in the morning. So I got that out of the way. I still have to stop by my tailor. I'm pretty hungry right now, so I'm actually gonna order something. I'm gonna move for some Indian food, so I'm gonna get some Gobi Manchurian because the boy wants some Indian food. I'm starving, you know what I'm saying? I'm starving. Yes, I'm Can I help you? What do you need, buddy? Uh, can I get a to-go plate of Gobi Manchurian, please? One Gobi Manchurian? Yes. What's your name, buddy? Dudley. And can you make sure that it's crunchy, please? Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. I like it when it's crunchy. She just wanna close her eyes and sweat. All right, man, I just pulled up to Taste of India. I love this spot. Probably one of my favorite Indian spots, man. Ugh, time to get that gobi. So, y'all, this is my first meal. Hold up, let me give you that. 
that view, man. Woo! I wish you guys could smell this right now. The aroma is crazy. This is meal one. This is Gobi Manchurian. What this is basically, I'm sorry, I'm salivating. What this is basically is uh, boiled cauliflower and then it's either sauteed or fried with some fresh chives and parsley on it. Everybody makes it different, but I just like it anyways. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys wanna see me make this myself. Oh, I forgot to say my prayer. Let's eat, man. Meal number one, about to break my fast. Mmm. This never gets old. This is probably my third time having this in the last three weeks. This is so good. you guys can smell it all right it's on to the next errand I was just picking up it's a white shirt white shirt okay button up shirt and I think I brought it here last Thursday let me see this one yeah Dudley so I just left the tailor. Turns out the shirt still doesn't fit me the way I wanted to. So they gotta fi they gotta figure it out again, man. So whatever. Problems of having a wide back and a skinny waist, man. For my second meal, I have some wild rice that I let soak overnight. And I'm also gonna cut up some broccoli and sweet potato and I'm gonna bake these. And I'm also gonna have a protein powder even before I have this. So for my protein shake, I'm gonna use this vegan protein powder uh, by Cause or K-O-S, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This was actually a gift to me, so I'm, I'm very thankful for this. this Protein powder is actually pretty good. It has 20 grams of protein per two scoops. So that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna put in some of this creatine, some silk almond milk, some peanut butter, and that's gonna be technically my second meal, but the whole thing is gonna be my second meal. The protein shake, sweet potato, broccoli, and of course the wild rice. Fun fact, the reason why I soak my rice in advance is because rice actually contains phytic acid, which can make it very hard for you to absorb the minerals from it. So when you soak it, it opens it up almost like it unlocks it and it allows your body to readily absorb all of those nutrients. So by soaking it, I minimalize the phytic acid and I can absorb all of the nutrients. Sprouting and germinating the rice also makes it easier to digest on my body so I don't spend as much time digesting and I can be on the go. Cause as you already see today, I've been all over the world. All right, now I'm gonna put in the broccoli. I'll put the broccoli in a little Tupperware container. Add all of that in there. And I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil on top so that when I bake it, it gets nice and crispy. So I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil. I'm gonna add some seasonings. That's how it's looking. And I'll see these guys in about 45 minutes. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm about to take a shower and I will see you guys in about 45 minutes. What the? You guys can't come to the shower with me. Just sit back, relax, do something. I'll see you in about 45 minutes. Oh, get out of here, man. Y'all tripping, man. 
For real. Stay here. All right, guys, this is meal number two. I have some cut up tomatoes, wild rice and beans, sliced avocado, some baked broccoli and sweet potato fries. And this is gonna be it. I mean, I got some barbecue sauce, so I'm gonna enjoy this, take a little time to relax, and then head over to my massage therapy appointment. <laughs> Just pulled up, man. About to get this quick deep tissue massage. Listen, every athlete needs to get massages. Hey, hey, my man. What's up? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This is Steve Taylor. This is, in my opinion, the best massage therapist in Pensacola. If you come to this part of Florida, make sure to stop by him. Steve, what do you want to say, man? Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> I appreciate that. Course, and man. if you're in pain or you just need a good deep tissue massage, uh, I'll be happy to help you. All right, we drop the phone number for them. 850-232-9875. All right, man, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> 12 seconds later. All right, another task down there. That was my guy, Steve, great sports massage therapist. If you're ever in the Panhandle or in Pensacola, make sure to contact him. And because y'all rocking with me, he told me to tell y'all, if y'all come to him and tell him that I sent you, you get $10 off of your massage, man. So make sure to come check him out if you're ever swinging by this area of Pensacola, Florida. I promise you, he got you, man. Anyway, on to the next task. All right, to be honest with you, I'm already munching on some rice right now. I low key forgot to record, but yo, for my first snack, I got these rice cakes over here, and all these are is just brown rice and sea salt, I believe. Yeah, and sea salt. Uh, and I'm gonna put some peanut butter on there. No hydrogenated oils, because that causes inflammation in the body. And I'm gonna throw on some raspberry preserve jelly. This jelly is clutch. This is so delicious and that's gonna be my snack before I gotta head back out to go do whatever the hell else I have to do. Self-expansor right here, man. Get the got the rice cakes, got the peanut butter, <laughs> and then I got the raspberry preserve on top. So this is delicious. I'm gonna finish this and then head back out. Drop the motherfucking rice cakes now! While I'm enjoying this delicious rice cake, I'm about to head over to the P.O. box so I can get my shipment. How you doing? Which one are you? Uh, right there on top. Edward, they spelled my last name wrong. Which one is it? This right here. Yes, my package right here. Edward. No. What, what, you French or something, man? That is French, yeah. Yeah, you French? Yeah, I'm Haitian. You play ball for it? West Florida. All right, they're doing some big things out there. You yeah. yeah man. Never works, man. Yeah, man. God willing. Yeah, man. As long as you're doing the best you can do, man. Exactly. That's all you can do. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate all right, you, all right? All right, good luck to you, all man. Right, no problem. All right, so let's look at this package sent to me by Separate Tech. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So these are supposed to be a sports performance edition, okay? Ooh, okay. Hey, I will definitely make a review video for this uh, probably soon. So for the people at Separate Tech, I thank you for your package and I'll try it out soon, I promise. Thank you once again. I just got back home. Finally got my shirt, man for this wedding that I had this weekend. So I'm actually going to finish up some work. These next three hours are for me, they're me time. I'm gonna relax for about an hour and then I'm gonna spend some time replying to you lovely guys' comments. And then I'm gonna also study from my CPT, which is the Certified Personal Trainer Test. And then after that, man, that's pretty much a day. 
So I'm gonna chill for a little bit, get just a little bit of work done right now. And then I'm gonna snack on these date rolls. And all these are, are pretty much dates wrapped in almonds. So I'm gonna snack on these. Guys, I feel like such a horrible brother. I looked at my phone and I realized today is my older brother Jason's birthday. I've been so busy that I forgot to call him. I'm tripping. He didn't even pick up. Well, I guess it's back to work, man. I'm really struggling with myself right now because I've realized over the years that everything has to be in fine balance. And when you're busy working towards your goals, it can be difficult to really nurture all of the necessary areas in your life when you're pushing so hard for your goal. So me forgetting that it's my brother's birthday that kind of rubs me the wrong way but you know like we're all human man but but seriously guys try to balance out your life you don't want to be like me he's calling back i can redeem myself hey what's up bro what's up Dougie? happy birthday man sorry for Thank the late you, call bro. how you feeling old man i feel good you feeling good I'm feeling good bro uh, I'm 29. I know, man. You're getting up there. Shoot. You know what I mean? One more bowling pin, man, and you 30. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to be 30, but it's straight. Jesus was 30 when he started his ministry. Hey, true that. Love you, brother. Thanks for calling. Hey, man, no problem, bro. I love you too, man. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh -huh. Alright, man. I'll talk to you later. So, this is my last meal for the day, guys. I've got some organic, gluten-free oatmeal because gluten just doesn't get along with me. I've got some berries in here, seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, all that good stuff. Some peanut butter, almond milk, cinnamon, and I'm having a mango. So, this is going to be it. And that concludes what I ate today, man. Hold on. Man, thank you guys for tagging along today with me on my busy day as a vegan athlete. Obviously, you've seen I was still able to get in my meals. There's no excuses for people who say that, oh, they can't go vegan because they're, there's no time, it costs too much money, or their dog had prostate cancer. Whatever the case may be, man, there is no excuse. But anyways, man, it's all love. Make sure to like, hit that bell so you get notified when I upload subscribe share all that good stuff man and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out see i got a question there dog family friends fans cats dogs trees plants grass how the wind blow murphy's law generation x will i ever be your ex flaws of a baby step